starting as a child, I was a Christian, brought up as a Christian. But at the age of 12, I decided I was not satisfied with Christian philosophy, some aspects. Now, that's a 12-year-old child in, in a poor, you know, Black community. I don't know how I had that thought. I had one question that nobody could answer. And that question was, where did God come from? Because in the Bible, it says God created heaven, God created earth. He stepped there and created. So I was wondering, where did he come from? No one could answer. So I lost interest in that. So in 1970, 71, after my mother died, especially because she was my first guru, I was distraught. I was confused, didn't know what to do. And then my father died and all of that. So I was living in Florida. I came back to Atlanta. And when I came back to Atlanta, I started singing with a local African-American group who also became quite famous. But during that time is when I met Maharishi Mahesh Yogi from Transcendental Meditation. Not him directly, but his students and teachers in Atlanta. So I became very interested because I couldn't understand why my mother died, my father died, and my brother died. It just somehow didn't register properly. So then I started hearing about Eastern philosophy. I had never heard about India. I mean, even in school, we didn't talk about India. The only thing I knew about India was the caste system. I remember in the third grade somewhere we read that. That's all I knew. So then when I came in contact with Transcendental Meditation, something opened up, some new vista, some hope of a higher realm of consciousness. 